This is lesson one for Tinker. So first, go to Tinker.com, and after you log into your account, and then click on courses, and click block coding, and then you will see these three classes that showed up for block coding which has, has this block signs and then today we're gonna try out this Barbie one so after you click on the Barbie course click the first one robotics engineers click the first one welcome green button to the Barbie you can be anything programming experience and then click anywhere to continue I'm so excited we're going to learn how to program by exploring six of the coolest careers ever did you know that programming is more than just typing code into a computer programming is a whole way of thinking and it can be helpful in any career so while we discover what it's like to be a robotics engineer, a musician, an astronaut, a farmer, a beekeeper, and a pastry chef, we'll also see how programming can be used to animate characters, compose music, tell stories, design games, and even create art. And click anywhere to continue. Tinker is a visual programming language. When you program in Tinker, you use blocks like these to make things happen. Each block represents a programming concept. When you connect blocks together, you can make anything happen. You can make things move. You can make your character say things. Boo! You can send them to different places. Moon. And you can change the way they look. So where do we start? With the basics, of course. In Tinker, the background is called the stage. And the objects on the stage are called actors. It sounds like a play, doesn't it? I'm an actor. And so is this robot. To make an actor do something on the stage, such as move or play a sound, you add code blocks to it. Click on the code blocks to see how they affect this robot actor. Click on the blocks. Isn't that cool? Each lesson in this course teaches new code blocks. So by the time you're done, you're going to know how to do a lot. You'll get to do puzzles to practice your skills. And do-it-yourself projects, we call them DIYs, where you'll be free to program anything you want. This is going to be so amazing! Let's get started! And click on the robot, robotics engineer you, character you want. As a robotics engineer, I get to create robots that can do all kinds of things. Explore space, harvest crops, even perform surgery. In this lesson, we're going to use coding concepts to build and animate robots. So choose which one you want to start. So I think we'll just start from the top. Each picture of an actor is called a costume. When you change an actor's costume, all you're really doing is swapping one picture of the actor with another picture of the actor. Click the Next Costume command to change the costume on the robot. So click on this Next Costume block. And click again. See? The robot looks like it's moving! 
and click on the second one loops. Sometimes you want something to happen over and over again. One way to do that is to add several code blocks for the same command. For instance, we could add a bunch of next costume blocks to make this robot look like it's moving. See? It looks like the robot is doing jumping jacks. But that's a lot. Of There's a faster way to make something happen again and again. It's called a loop. You can create a loop that runs a specific number of times with the repeat command. Go ahead, click on the code blocks to see what happens. Click on the block. Did you see that? The robot changed costumes exactly eight times because the repeat loop was set to eight. That's called a counting loop. But maybe you want it to keep going. In that case, you can create a loop using the forever command. Click on this code and see how this loop works. Click on the block. Look at that robot go! He's a jumping jack machine! And he'll keep going as long as your program runs because you're using the forever command. That's called an infinite loop. Now click the last one, Animations. If an actor has more than one costume, you can use the next costume command to change how the actor looks. Click the code block to see how next costume works. Click the block. And then and again. See how the robot changes its costume every time you click? If you change an actor's costume many times in a row, you can animate. Click on these code blocks to see what happens next. Click on black. As you can see, computers do things really fast. Sometimes we need to slow things down a little so we can see what's actually happening. The wait command is the key to slowing things down. With wait, you can pause your program for a specific number of seconds. If you use wait with next costume, you can make an animation slow down. See how these two robots are moving at different speeds? That's because the value for one weight is 0.8 seconds. The value for the other weight is only 0.1 seconds. The bigger number means a longer wait between costumes, which makes the animation go slower. A smaller number means a shorter wait between costumes, so the animation goes faster. Use wait when you want to slow something down or when you want to pause before the next thing happens. And that's it. Enjoy!